behind a metal fork. <laughs> a goodie here and real meat is necessary. We climb mountains so we can eat a lot. They'll need the energy because this week they're taking on the high one. Mount McKinley. And people have said stuff to me like, you know, have you talked to your mother about this? <laughs> Everyone here knows it will take a fight to get to the top, something these men know all too well. Before I came up here last year, I was doing some rock climbing and the leg fell off from 20, 30 feet up and broke. They've spent the last year climbing other mountains with a different set of obstacles. That lets me hang a lot more weight on it than the other one I had, so... That way, it's, it's not coming off my body. And the majority of this team was wounded in battle. I severed my carotid artery. I have a scar on my retina. I have, I have two teeth missing. A hole in my eardrum. In 2005, Marine John Cunningham lost his arm during an insurgent attack in Iraq. When you deal with adversity and, and disability, sometimes things that should be very easy or used to be very easy or hard, but that doesn't mean that really hard things aren't still possible. A project that's rallied much support in the community. So I'm expecting, uh, as you climb that mountain and at the right time, you'll make that call and you will say, mission accomplished. And their hope is to inspire beyond the last frontier. Our greatest hope is that our efforts here inspire our fellow wounded, who as we speak may lay bedridden in Walter Reed, questioning their own future the same way that each of us did not so many years ago. <laughs> so today, a final pep talk for the team. So good to see you. You guys are awesome. Because their mission Anybody want my chicken? is only yeah. beginning. I wouldn't say it's the last supper. <laughs> Layla Santiago, Channel 2 News. Also joining the wounded warriors, a wife and an army retiree. They take off on Monday. The team expects the journey to last 21 days.